You're listening to MOV Radio. Hell yeah! Sweet kisses. Okay, let's test and see if that recording. That is recording. Hello, everybody. This is the second shoot, and really, what we're doing is we're setting up the move back to the other room. Hello, everybody. DJ Shea, MOV Radio. Is we're setting up. I'm going to set up the lights, which basically I'm going to put behind the camera and shine over. As you can see, like I said earlier, we're recording more or less in the evening, in the night. And I have the camera, which is the SL2 200D, best camera ever made, especially for starters. It's on, everything's on auto. It's right now auto tracking my face. Um, so you should be able to see everything. I have nobody behind the camera. I'll have to get somebody to actually help me make these videos in the future. But anyway, I took this out, as you can see, out of the bag. And I'm just opening it up. Mm, but whether I know what I'm doing or not now is another thing. Okay. I'm not really sure how this works, so I'm gonna if I'm gonna do I'm gonna open it up um, put it together and then show you how it's done. That's what I'll do. Okay, I've switched to the second camera. And as you can see, the lighting is much better. I already have one up. These are the this is the bottom of it. I don't want to force that because the lights will be good. I will be disassembling this. This is the bottom of it. And basically all you do is, if you see, you just pull it out at the bottom. I think. Uh, maybe, yeah, it's loose, it should. Push down. Pull out all three, right. And pull it out as far as you can. Okay, so pull it out good and wide at the bottom. That is your base. Same as the tripod, really. Okay. Then what you do is you get these three, all right, and you just loosen them up, if they're not already loose. But there's three now. I don't think we need all three, to be honest with you. So I'm gonna just do that one and tighten it. Just wanna show you how it works. That's basically it. Tighten it there, see? Then I'm gonna bring this one up. I'm gonna go bring this one up higher than the far one. Okay. That goes up. You get an average one of these. I think this only cost. I don't know what it costs actually, I forget. Believe it or not. But I know it wasn't top of the range expensive. Once again, went shopping, knew what I wanted to do, and that is basically it. Now I do believe that is much higher than the other one, but um, I can't, I can't, I can't really go higher. I don't think I want to go higher. <laughs> sort of way, like why, why go too high? Because if you go too high, it might balance or whatever. And um, I think when you have this out, though, you should tighten this. I'm not sure why, but I think it stops that leg anyway from going back in. Okay, but that's your base. Fairly sturdy, okay. And just in case you didn't catch from the last one, we are basically setting up light so that if we're doing like a pop video, a rock video, any video, if I was now, for instance, recording Ali Sherlock and it's not Grafton Street, I would I would be using lighting like this especially if it was evening time, I would want to set up. I wouldn't be just straight in. Oh, let's do this, like, you know, Paul Otto, or whatever. Uh, when I do my world tour, which is coming up, folks, 2019, I hope. If not, it'll be before that. Um, I'm gonna say I'll be doing a world tour. I'm going to see Jaden Riley, uh, our, our, our artist of the year this year, which is Julia Middleton, and um, hopefully visit Al Atkinson. Get to see Elisa Marie Kuhn and a few other people. I might even try and fit in Romania. Anyway, back to this. Next is this. It's the bag. What's in this magic bag? Ooh, it's Christmas all over. I've spent all day tomorrow getting rid of all this. I've got lights, I've got decorations, 
a lot of it's going into the shed in the back and a lot of it's to go up into the attic. So I like to put the, the lights in the attic. So I like to, to kind of sort them out first every year. But the joys of Christmas, ha ha ha. Very funny, sorry, very funny whoever taught it that, the joys of Christmas. The joys of Christmas, the work of Christmas. Right, in each one of these, you're going to get that keeping. Now, it doesn't make a big difference, but I'll show you why. You can actually put these up over your light. And what they are, it's just a white sheet. Because in some cases, that might be too much. Too much of a good thing. Okay. And I highly recommend you go, and what they are, that's it. It's just a white sheet. Now, if I remember correctly, Okay, I'm not showing you this, so that's not a good idea. Just let me quickly get it up anyway. That's the difference with the sheet on. And as you can see, it's it's it, it kind of takes the zoom this out. You might need it. Now, if it was broad daylight, I'd highly recommend it. But all I've done is put that sheet over the actual light itself. Now, I'll be doing another video and showing you another angle of it, which I suppose I could do now. Basically, what I've done there. I don't know how I'm going to edit this, but how and ever. We'll go camera! And we'll go auction. And there you are. There's the lens over, it's all set up. And the reason why you're not seeing a great shot of it is because it's just done. And this is the next one being set up. Okay, so I'll, I'll try and edit all this together and put it all together, but. Uh, that's it with the thing. That's the one that's set up. This is the one that's been set up. Now, I don't want to spend too long with this, so I'm not going to, because it's one thing I hate when you're watching a video and you want information. It just shows how it's done. So basically, loosen the bolts, spread it out, spread it out at the bottom, pull it up at the top. Right, next you need to set this up. Now, this can be an issue. First of all, take the wire off so that you can open up the flex. I suggest you do that first because when you have it all together, you don't want to be bending over and looking, where's this going, where's that going? Do you see this? Okay. This needs to extend outwards, obviously. Ha ha ha, yeah, otherwise, you know. And it's got silver, or what I'd call it silver. Looks silver to me, so silver, Inner set, which is going to beam the light out and into the room. Now, in the middle, you can see where the light goes in and all that. That in the middle, you have the socket for the bulb. Above the socket for the bulb, there's four um, kind of wiry, stringy, wiry bars, which hold another circle in the middle. You need to push that gently. I repeat, gently until you have all the bars straight it is now locked so if you if you see i have it locked in okay i then suggest i didn't do this the first time i then suggest that you take the bulb okay out of its packet gently and keep the packet because remember the reason why I bought these is they're easy to disassemble, easy to assemble, you know, you get from A to B, which hopefully I won't be doing too often because I only do this for as a hobby, I do it uh, as, you, as you all know, non-profit, um, um, and the reason why I'm showing you guys how to do it is because you can do this, uh, I've seen people making lots of money out of doing stuff like this, but my uh, bulb what I do what I don't like is people then you s always screw in clockwise I know that from experience but uh, get it to sit in there and then come up top and make sure you screw always when you're screwing in anything screw it in on the right threads never force anything especially when you're working with electric 
Never force anything. Now I'm hearing a click, click, click there, but I think that's because the cleaning. So I think I'm going to leave it like that. Once the bulb is securely in, that'll do you. At the back, okay. At the back, there's three bolts, and you can actually move that up and down. But before, I don't want that right now, so I'm going to tighten it, okay. And what you need to do, see. See, this is what I'm talking about here. You need that, okay? So all it really is, think about, it. at the top, it's a pole. So what's at the top of a pole, you know? So you need to sit it down. I would actually sit it down with the wire kind of sitting up. So I would go like that. I would kind of make sure that the wire is sitting up above. Not that you, don't be worrying about wires too much. That's not what we're doing. Okay, and then loosen it out. Oh yeah, be a good idea to make sure this thing is completely open. That there's a, I don't know where that pulls or screws. I think it's screws. Okay, not a good idea to tighten that. Open that up. Wrap it down here. Then you can open up the other one fully. Okay. Now that sounds less complicated. All it is is you have one little bolt, which you know you can tilt the light up and down. Um, kind of leave that open so you can tilt it down and then open up the back one and I'd open it up all the way not enough that it come, falls off though then turn it on its side and let it go all the way down not too much all the way down out there and then tighten it okay Hand tight, don't force it tight. Hand tight will do, okay? Now, I didn't realize this, but you can actually move this. Oh, yeah. You should be able to move it up and down. Yeah. At least that was everything a few minutes ago. Oh, looks like it's side to side. Okay, well that's actually handy. I didn't know it even could do that when I was buying it. So. That's a little bonus. I'm just going to secure that for the moment. Right. So that's your light, okay? Now I'm going to turn the camera a little bit, okay? And I'm going to tilt it up because, uh, as you can see, I've nobody here with me. Tilt it up a bit. Well, that wasn't what I wanted to do. It's funny. It's fu it's funny when you're doing things in reverse because you got to do things like the way you normally do them, and it doesn't work. So I'm going to bring it up. So that you can actually kind of try and see what I'm doing, okay? Now, the good thing about the DSLR too is you can turn the screen to yours yourself. So I can actually see what I'm doing. Now what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to lower this down a bit, which is very easily done. I'm going to lower it down so that I have you in the center, not a bit too much, right? And maybe come back a bit, okay? Now, do you remember when I was talking about the white thing that you put over the plate? This is it. No matter what or what type you buy, you'll always get one of these because, or you should get one of these. Make sure you do. Because like I said, different situations, different studios, depending on what you're doing. I mean, if you're a photographer, you'll know what I'm talking about. Which is more of what I do. These are quite simple to put up, okay? You just get the four corners. Line it on top. And it's, it's basically just putting a cover up. It's, it's not rocket science. Uh, if you've made your bed, if you're capable of making your bed, you can do this. If you're capable of putting a pillowcase on, you can do it, okay? It's not rocket science, right? Now, the thing is, I'm going to have to turn the camera around. The thing now, the thing about the model that you buy, think about the length of the actual cable. Do you want really long cables? Like, are you going to be doing, you know, stuff which will require you to need a long cable? For instance, now, I don't think I can reach that socket, but I'm going to try. Um, and what I, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it away from the camera 
so that it doesn't cram you. Now, basically, you should really have these behind the camera, which is exactly what I'm going to do with that because you've seen how it's assembled. And basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it and put it behind the camera, light it up, then turn the camera back to the wall so you can see the lighting and the difference. Um, these are not the easiest thing to move, so really it would be best to set this up behind the camera at the start. So I'm going to hope that I can... I think I might be able to do it without causing too much. Okay, you do not, I repeat, you do not want to be doing this in the studio because the studio is already going to have loads of stuff. Whoops. And make sure it's properly balanced. I don't know why that's happening. I choose to make a video showing you guys trying to make your life easier and seriously I think I've made mine harder. Still only one light on. <coughs> Both lights have the sheet over okay. One hasn't got the sheet over properly. Okay. So basically I've pulled that together in a few minutes. I, I've just shown you from scratch without doing them myself. I put up one, put up the other one, they're easy. This is not rocket science. Do you need to get them? That's the carrier bag. Look how big that is. So, you know, are they super heavy? No. Do you want to be carrying? So if you're going to do a video shoot, you want a caravan or something because, well, you, you, I know you need that, but like, basically speaking, you need to carry, I'd say two of these, which you can carry in one bag. Then you need to carry the tripod, which is why earlier in the video I was telling you, okay, it's granted about the two light tripods, and that was great for carrying them, but this is a much better um, one, and if, you've, if, if you're going to go do a video shoot, I highly re recommend that you have it a bit straighter than what I have there, for a start. Why that is, I don't know. Just let me see, can I move you? Okay, this is tilted. Do not know why. Okay, um, can I change that now? Yeah, I can. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it. I'll leave it. Too late. Anyway, I don't know why I had that. I'll have to get used to your new tripods because they're not all the same. You know, they're all basically the same. The, the features are the same as in, but there, there's different ways of doing things. Mine is slightly tilted to the edge there, and that's actually done by me when I was trying to adjust it up for this one. I'm going to switch this on, show you. Hopefully it works, folks, because if it doesn't work... Yay! Now, like I said, that is hand tight. Back to the target. Okay, the cutting again. Right, I'm going to quickly show you now, guys, how to disassemble one. So I'll be kind of panning from this side and panning out. Okay, first thing you do is switch it off. Okay, so, because like, obviously, the switch it off. Unplug it. Okay, we're on packing. We're finished our shoot. You've done it. You've done the video. We're kind of hoping that everything was done okay and went well. It should be. It's actually a fact, another thing uh, that I recommend about that Canon is that it's super duper. Right, well the first thing I do after all that is I'd unhook the light switch. So basically all you need to do here is loosen it. So anti clap wise. Okay, so once again Loosen it out so that you can unbolt this. 
the thing I, I said to you, I did say to you earlier that when, um, so once again, I've taken it off. And as you remember, it just fits into that, that hole there, fits down onto the top, you screw it in. The only reason you have, why you have to turn the other bolt is, as you can see, it turns left and it turns right. So you can actually turn it up and down. Actually, if I went directly in, I probably, I've been actually putting it in like that, which was probably a mistake. Can I not put it in like that? Oh, I didn't know this. Hold on. So there's actually two ways you can put the top on. Oh, that's much better. Okay. So, it's just as well I was showing you how to unpack because if I bring it over to you, I was actually showing you, I was actually putting, see the way it's on now, but make sure it looks like the letter L because as I take it off here, you can see that, can't you? Now you can see it. As, as I was taking this off, putting it on, just take it off first, okay? Like that. So it fits straight down. So I've actually got the other one set up wrong. And I was putting it on like that, which worked. You can also put it on like that, which worked, but you don't have it on right, okay? So basically make sure it's like the letter L because if you put it on like that, maybe. Well, let's face it, there's two ways you can put it on. No, I was, I was, I was right the way I put it on the first time. But, um, it just goes to show you that you can put it on both ways and depending on the way you put it on you can you can zoom with the, the light itself left or right or up or down so that's handy right that's off the next thing to do would be to take oh well i should have took off the sheet the sheet is easy just lift it off gently it won't rip it's not going to tear or anything then next is your bulb now i want you to be careful with your bulb should you remove your bulb yes you should the heat out of this is unreal, so make sure there's a good bit of time. Make sure there's a good bit of time. So once you've got your bulb out, I put that on the floor. Don't worry about that for just now. Put that on the floor. Get the bulb safe. Back in the packet, which is a kind of inflated with air. It's a kind of type of bubble wrap um, paper. I put the glass end in first and leave the electrical last so that the glass end is kind of always uh, always protected okay that should be going on my face yet yeah, now okay so make sure that's always protected right put that somewhere safe i'm doing this in a room that's totally untidy and unmessy so you don't need to be you know in rocket science now um i didn't keep the cable but i i I'd, I'd highly rec i'd highly recommend something to keep your cable together, um, which probably no, typical. Can't find it. I'll look for it later. Use the tire that you actually got with the box that had the cable together originally. That would be a good idea, right? So put that there now. I'm not going to have to tell you this, but if you remember when we were putting it all together and I'm, I'm still working with the other switch just gonna move this around a bit more now whoa that camera's heavy boy well, that's a bit better it's not great light but this is due to the fact that we're actually only working with one light which just goes to show you you need these guys seriously you do need them. you need them. it's it's just if you're really going to if you're just going to sit there uh, and flog and talk about things like What's going to happen to YouTube in 2019? Well, actually, I'm a bit scared about that myself because I think, um, watch out for um, 11 and 13 articles, 11, 11 and 13. Combined, it can be quite hard. YouTube actually could go off air completely in Europe. But certainly to upload a video is definitely going to be too hard. We all want to see everybody. Call. I mean, I represent artists who don't get paid, who actually have to pay to be on TV shows. and I'm so, so I'm all for artists being protected. But um, when you're doing cover songs and stuff like that, you're not going to own all that material. 
you know but you but but it's going to be copyrighted youtube is actually probably the only it's not like instagram it's not like the other ones facebook it, you actually have to prove you know wh whoever owns that song gets paid the monetizing money you know you might get a percentage but uh, but that's only if you're allowed a percentage basically if the song doesn't belong to you you don't get paid for it folks so youtube the one that has been protecting the artists up to now is the one that's going to have to um it's the one that's been hit the hardest right you just pull it out simple as that you just pull remember i told you you push it down and put it up there's a place where you screw in the light bulb and then you push that down over that but you push this down before you put in the light bulb remember well you just pull that up there you are she falls over nice tidy cutting cutting ass for any easier than that get your black bag get your glove i would probably go this end first because it looks the smallest but just to see how long it takes me to get back in oh yeah it's back in you don't actually need you don't actually need wire no you aren't it's back in the bag i'm not going to go down really tight enough that, that is back in the bag okay so the bulb is back safe the top is back safe and basically all it is again my god sorry about the shaking there folks is you just loosen it up loosen it up now i would tighten it a little bit again not a lot just a little bit so it doesn't shoot out when you're traveling and um, safety reasons and then we come to the bottom bit here which now you, is my first time to deal with these but I'm assuming to push in. Ah, now I remember distinctly. Yes, I locked this one. So what you do is you loosen that. Okay, so you loosen that. Loosen up there. And then I'm assuming you're pushing them up. And in. And actually I tighten that again. If it's loose, tighten it. Why, if it's loose, tighten it. Why not? Not now, just. As soon as it stops, it stops, and then that's it, it's secure. Yeah. So, yeah. Bagged. Bagged. Bagged, that's it. Packed away and bagged. Basically, that was as good a job. So I have a lot of editing to do to pull this together, but hopefully when it's all done, you'll have an idea. Um, you'll know how to assemble it. Disassemble it. We've done two lights. I would say now, uh, with my knowledge, and once you decide where you're going to put the light, where you're going to put the camera, which you more, more than likely studios will already have a place set up for you. So basically, you just put up your two light things, you know. And um, do studios have their own lighting? Yes, they do, but not all studios do. So, is it important to have your own lighting? Yes, I would bring lighting with me. Unless you're going and doing buskers or you're recording yourself in your own room and you're happy with the lighting, you know. Um, which actually, I'm going to leave this one assembled so that if I ever do want to do you guys a video, because we have three channels now with Shame's Trainer One. Shame's Trainer One is actually MOB Radio. Um, it's a video channel, but it's more outreach. I'll do all artists. Um, she checks it out. Will be well. For instance, I'll be telling you the prices and what's the best value. The reason why I'm trying to throw it all into one is to kind of to teach us a bit more about me and how I'm starting off and see how rough and ready it is at the beginning. And basically, I've even left videos up on my YouTube channel from the beginning, um, which aren't great to show you that you will improve over time. Your videos will improve, and people won't mind. Your artists won't mind. People won't mind because. The more you put up of them, the more exposure they're getting and the more exposure they get, you know. And if you, no matter what you're doing your videos on, if you're doing your videos on something like that, um, you know, whatever it is, and your videos are improving, so will your clientele and the people tuning, subscribing to you, you know, and you will grow. So if you want to do so, if you want to do it as a business, or as a friend, well, there's a guy I met, and he actually, I started doing this just by pure chance. Um, and it's a hobby it's to keep me sane it's like because i'm 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 i just oh no i'm not able to work so basically but i but my mind is still able to work if you know what i mean like to 
to a certain extent. My bad eyesight makes me very, very limited. But anyway, the thing is, I enjoy doing it. it keeps me sane. If you have a hobby and you want to become a YouTuber or a Facebook or a blogger, do it. It doesn't cost you a fortune. I actually estimate now that I'm finished, it would cost around 1,500 euros to be totally set up. That's with your lighting, your camera, your tripod. Okay? Now for extras, like, this is probably the best extra I ever bought. It's the Galaxy S9 Plus. Now I got this in Porto, and I got it for about 630. They're currently retailing for about 900 to 1,000 in the shops. So really my videos will help you save money, but they are great. However, I do, f I mean, buying that was a waste of money. I can't see why I bought it. There's ones for sale in the ca in the Fuji um, shop in Grafton Street for um, a five or less, and they're a lot better and bigger and everything else. So you know, I, I I'm going to try and teach you from my mistakes on everything to do with video and recording, whatever. So that's it, folks. Thank you all for watching and uh, subscribe. Please like and subscribe. No matter what channel you're watching. Don't forget there's a channel called MOB. That will be just videos of our artists and actually it's going to be a video that our artists sent directly to us. Um, if, they're, if they're exceptionally good videos, which they usually will be, or are, or have to be, they will be on. But um, I would appreciate if you subscribe to all three channels anyway, because they'll be interlinked anyway, and it'd be great. Thank you all. To, uh, thank you to everybody who subscribed so far. That's a big thing. Gonna switch this off, it's on doing nothing. Um, oh yeah, I'll show you the difference when it's off. Just, let's finish. Let's, I always say let's finish in high. Now, there it is, you can see the adjustment. Now, the, the, once again, brilliant camera. Brilliant camera. Now, it's adjusted and changed. It's automatic. If that wasn't automatic, video ruined, okay? So, I always nearly record an auto on the, Canon. The thing to remember folks is it's good but with the lighting it's better. If you're doing a video just for yourself to, to speak about yourself, to speak about your radio or to speak about your web page or to speak about whatever you're doing your blog on, that's cool. That's okay. That'll do. But if you're actually going to be doing a video even if it's only an interview with an artist or, 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 or you want to Grade your stuff for, I mean, and if you really, really want to do well, you got to present everything very, very well. So that's the way to do it, depending on what you want to do. Some people will actually not watch um, a YouTube video unless it's in HD and good quality. It's as simple as that. Um, this, if, if, if you're lucky enough and you, do, you have a channel like mine and that's where people want to see new artists and they want to see, you know, they're happy whether it's done by phone, they're happy because they're hearing and seeing stuff that you wouldn't normally see because, you know, it's not out there. So, so that's great. So I, I kind of two or three times would get away with it. But not all the time. Not all the time. If, if my artist year, like for instance, if, if, if I manage to get over to Canada and I see her, I will want nothing but the best of video quality, no matter what artist I do. Even when I'm doing it on the street, I'm trying to get as good a quality as I can in the environment that I'm in. And I wish you all the best of luck and I hope you all, whoever's watching this and is saying, I don't care even if only two or three years watch this and get something from it, as long as somebody gets something from it. My main goal will be to save you money. But to give you knowledge, the important things. I mean, I never heard about panning. Okay, panning, was that going horizontal? Was it going up and down? You know, that's, so that's what they mean by panning. Little things like that. You, it, there's, there's a little nut underneath the blocks of these damn things. You take them off and there's a little nut. You loosen that nut and you can take off your camera. When you're putting your camera on, you tighten that nut to tighten the camera position. And then you lock it in. Little things like that I didn't know. I was there struggling to screw on the bloody camera over this nut. Not realizing that all I had to do is screw it in from it. You know what I mean? Like, so simple things like that. So hopefully I can help you. Thank you all. God bless. I'm going to stop this now.